Hello. I would like to talk a little bit about what it means to be a coward. The state of cowardice. Um, basically, to be a coward means not to follow your conscience, doesn't it? It means if I feel the next right thing is to do something, but for, for, some, for some reason a fear comes over me of what someone else might think or... Um, you know, I might lose my job if I do the next right thing. Um, or, they, you know, even they might put me in jail because I do the next right thing. Any form of fear, you know, to stand up for my rights or for the rights of another is to be a coward. So what's important it is to, important is to learn what it means to be a coward and how... That process of getting rid of this condition of fear comes about. Now, can it be done over time? Well, the answer to that is no. If I take this process of time to look at why I'm a coward and analyze that, then I'm building the same self that has the condition of cowardice in it already. So, time cannot be a factor. It has to be an instantaneous insight or observation of oneself that first by facing that I am a coward or that I do have fear. And by facing that and remaining with that fact, there's an instantaneous insight into what it means to go beyond this self, this conditioning process of the brain, and no longer be a coward. So it can't take time it's got to be an insight that comes from looking at the fact that I am full of fear, that I'm afraid to stand up for my rights or the rights of others. I'm afraid of government. I'm afraid of them putting me in jail for something for doing the right thing. Or I'm afraid of losing my job if I do the next right thing. So all these things come into play when I'm no longer living a life of fear and I'm effort, effortlessly doing the next right thing. It's like the golden rule. And um, and then that brings about a whole different consciousness. That brings about a consciousness of order. And in that order, that relates to the culture and brings about order in our culture, in our society. So what we have to look at is, is absolving self completely and whether or not that conditioning forces of self that has projected God and created and invented all the religions throughout the world and all the scriptures and so-called sacred book, books which are really, if you look at them in their entirety, are very wretched books. We have to look into what it, it is, what it means to absolve self completely instantaneously so we no longer live with this effort of doing the right thing but it becomes a, a life that we have a consciousness that even though it may be arduous or difficult in many ways, it becomes a consciousness of effortlessness to live a life of goodness, absolute goodness and love. Peace.